welcome welcome my dear welcome back to this new video this i have prepared for your poem childhood it is composed by marcus natton this is the 6.1 poetry in your book part first i am going to present before you let me start about the poet the poet was a norwegian poet he wrote this poem childhood in this poem he tries to find out when he lost his childhood through his poem he wrote that people do not live the lives that they preach in the last stanza of his poem childhood the poet changes the question from when to where and answers it gone into hiding so this is the time to introduce properly this poem is an adult lamentation over his loss of his childish innocence the poet feels disappointed because he thinks being a child was better than being an adult a child's life is peaceful and really sweet while an adult's character is very complicated and the poet has compared childhood and adulthood about the childhood he says it is carefree always cool happy less worries free to do anything and less restrictions but when it comes to adulthood it is complex frustrated mostly a fake personality show off copying full of anxieties worries dejection fear of war death loss etc so all that the poet wants is his lost childhood though he well knows that he cannot get it back he can find his childhood on the face of children who have not yet lost their childhood so that is the only place from where we can get it back we can live again childhood children if you want to write this summary you can note down in your notebooks in this poem childhood the poet depicts the reality of childhood innocence gradually transforming into adult rationality hypocrisy and individuality the poem begins with the poet wondering when did his childhood go was it the day he ceased to be 11 was it the day when he could distinguish between fantasy and reality by realizing that heaven and hell don't exist since they are not found in geography books was it the day when he could understand the hypocrisy of adults by realizing that people were not all that they pretend to be or was it the day when he became conscious of his own growing individuality by realizing that he had a mind of his own and that he was capable of producing thoughts and opinions that were different from other people in the final lines the poet concludes the speculations in his mind regarding his lost childhood he never he now tries to understand where his childhood has gone though he is not aware of the day he lost his childhood he knows he knows that it has gone to some forgotten place and that is on the face of an infant the poet believes that though his childhood has become a memory for him it has become a reality for some other child childhood is a cyclic process where it leaves one person and goes to another one childhood by marcus natton in this video i will discuss this poem let us start the recitation when did my childhood go was it the day i ceased to be loved was it the time i realized that hell and heaven could not be found in geography 
and therefore could not be was that the day when did my childhood go was it the time i realized that adults were not all they seemed to be they talked of love and preached of love but did not act so lovingly was that the day when did my childhood go was it when i found my mind was really mine to use whichever way i chose producing thoughts that were not those of other people but my own and mine all alone was that the day where did my childhood go it went to some some forgotten place that's hidden in an infant's face that's all i know theme loss of innocence is the theme of the poem how childhood is full of innocence word meanings seized stopped realized understood seemed appeared priest gave advice on moral standards behavior producing creating thoughts ideas forgotten place unknown place hidden concealed infants babies or childs you can note down and now it's time for poetic devices when did my childhood go is refrain is repeated was it the time was that the day all these lines are repeated so it is refrain whichever way ww sound is repeated so alliteration and now summary the poet is dejected at the loss of his innocence he presumes that the day he became 12 years old he lost his innocence he realizes that there is no heaven or hell to be found in geography book the poet tries to guess that he might have lost his childhood innocence when he realized that the adults are hypocrites they do not practice what they preach they talk of love but they themselves do not love the poet feels he perhaps has lost his childhood innocence when he became a unique individual when he could make his own opinion and decision when he was not influenced by others in the last stanza the poet draws conclusion that he has lost his childhood innocence it has gone to some unknown place and it may be found on the face of an innocent child first question think it out identify the stanza that talks of each of the following individuality rationalism and hypocrisy so the answer is the first stanza talks about rationalism it means that all the behavior opinion etc should be based on reason rather than an emotion or religious belief the second stanza talks about hypocrisy it refers to a behavior in which someone pretends to have moral standards or opinion which he really does not have and the third stanza refers to individuality of the poet individuality is the quality of a person that makes him unique what according to the poem is involved in the process of growing up what do you think yes according to the poem the process of growing involves three stages first discovery of truth real rationalize it second discovery of hypocrite people all around us and the final stage involves becoming independent and a unique individual 
what is the poet feeling towards childhood answer the poet feels that childhood means a bundle of innocence when one is ready to believe and accept anything without any prejudice it's time to be gullible question number 4 which do you think are the most poetic lines and why so according to me the last stanza is the most poetic because it sums up the whole poem with the idea that the virtue of innocence is not lost but it could be found on the face of an infant thus it concludes that this world is not yet void of innocence and kindness hope amongst us sorry kindles hope amongst us So thank you